Pacific Rim Uprising, the new movie by Stephen DeKnight and his stars John Boyega, Scott Eastwood, Kaylee Spaney, and Charlie Day. Ten years after the original Pacific Rim, this movie revolves around Jake, the son of the chief of the original Pacific Rim, with the end of the apocalypse. Now Jake's brought in because now they're suddenly realizing, wait, the kaiju might not be dead. And is that the story? Well, yeah, that's it, basically it for the entire story. Now, I was a huge fan of the original Pacific Rim when that came out five years ago. Like, I love that movie when I was 13. Obviously, it was directed by Guillermo del Toro, who was a master. And that movie looked so beautiful. It was so badass, so much fun. I love it so much. So, like, hey, let's make a sequel. And the sequel was supposed to come out years ago, but it got canceled. But because the Chinese box office was so strong for this one, they said, hey, let's make another Pacific Rim. So I was like, yay. And then it basically went dead because I'm like... Um, there's no marketing, the trailer's been okay at best, and the reviews were pretty bad going in, so like, uh, oh my god, did they fuck up Pacific Rim? So I saw Pacific Rim Uprising, and what did I think? Yeah, this movie's pretty bad. But what was good about this movie, first of all, I gotta talk about the performances, and first of all, John Boyega, he is so much fun in this movie, like, I love him so much, and here, he brings a lot of charisma and energy to his role, you can tell he's having so much fun, so he's one of the best parts, if not the best part of the movie, Scott Eastwood is good, he's not great, but he has a very serviceable performance, he has a lot of charisma, and works well with John Boyega and the cast, and Kaylee Spaney, I've never seen her in anything. And here, she's pretty good. Like, I really liked her. And she and she is decent in the movie. And I can see a future for her as an actress. And overall, I think the performances are fine. Except for one performance, we'll get to that later. Now, as for the action, now, everybody goes to the movies for the big action. Like, robots being the shit out of kaiju. And do you get that? Yes, the action scenes are great. They're so much fun. I don't think it's as good as the original, but here, the action is so much fun. You got great variety, like kaijus being the shit out of robots and robots being the shit of each other. And it's... They just show a big scale, it's not choppy, you see robots fighting each other, very clear, very well shot, and it's just a ton of fun, and they also show the scale from the human's perspectives at some points, like showing like a big robot in the sky and the robot and the humans there, and I think it makes some of the action scenes pretty damn exciting at some point, and also the CGI is good, again, it doesn't look as visually spectacular as the original uh, Pacific Rim, because Guillermo del Toro is such a visionary, and here you get another director, and it doesn't look as good. But the visual effects are great; they work well for the movie. And at some point, the, the green screen is kind of noticeable, but otherwise, I think the visual effects are fine for this movie. And that's my only, only good part to this movie. So what went wrong with Pacific Rim Uprising? It comes down to the bad script; like it's actually pretty damn bad. Now the dialogue here is just. Bad. Like, it's just poorly written. The dialogue just is not convincing. It's not good. There's a lot of expedition scenes which just do not work. And it's just a bad script overall, especially at his attempts at humor, which is terrible. Like, the original Pacific Rim was a funny movie because the jokes work. Here, it's not funny. There's a handful of moments that were so cringeworthy that made me just go like, oh my god, this is so bad. Like, there's a joke about John Boyega saying, oh, well, I'm beautiful, and I'm sexy. Scott Eves is beautiful, and he's sexy. And I was just like... That was it. I'm a reaction. I just did not like it. Like, it was, the jokes were so bad. And what really shows about his bad writing is the horrible establishment of the entire movie. Now, here's the thing. You have the first five minutes to hook you and not make you checked out. Here, there's an opening montage which was h horrible. Like, honestly. Like, there's a ton of jokes that were so bad and forced. And I was just like, what the hell? Like, I was just like, this, this is... Oh, oh my god, what the hell am I watching? And and it just establishes the characters terribly, makes John Boyega's character kind of unlikable at the beginning. And all this comes down to is the horrible first half of this movie. Like, it's so... It's actually boring. The story doesn't really kick in the first half. It actually kicks in the second half when the exciting incident actually happens. So once the second half comes in, it actually becomes stupid fun. And that's what I want from a Pacific Rim movie. But the first half is bad. It just wastes time establishing characters in such a bad way, and the story doesn't kick in, so I was like, just checking my watch, I'm like, this is bad, like, the first half was pretty damn bad, now, as for the characters, they just, they do not work for this movie, like, there's not much backstory, they try to give John Boyega and Kaylee Spain these characters a backstory, but it just takes a backseat to the story, which just does not work for this movie, also, what the hell did they do to Charlie Day, like, he was actually funny in the original Pacific Rim, because he was in the backseat of the movie, and stole 
the movie at the right moments while the main actor took to the front seat. Here, he's in the movie a lot more and he just does not work for this movie. And obviously because the jokes suck, his jokes suck. And it's just he's just wasting him. And there's something that happens with his character that I'm not going to spoil because I don't spoil anything in my reviews. But it's so bad and it's just actually so cringe for me. I was just like... Oh my god, what the hell did I do to this character? And finally, you can just tell this movie panders to shit to the Chinese audience. Now, here's the thing. The original Pacific Rim was almost a big financial bomb, but China was surprisingly successful. So then they were like, hey, let's make a sequel. Let's pander to shit to Chinese audiences. So what the happens here? What do you want to hear? It's more takes place in China. There's Chinese actors and actresses. And there's so much Mandarin and like, it's like Chinese product plays. I was just like... Oh my god, like, why are you ham fist like, try to, like, paint to the Chinese audience? Like, it's just so bad. This is a movie, this movie was only made for Chinese audiences to eat up and watch the movie so we can get three more fucking Pacific Rim movies that I, to be honest, I don't even want to see anymore. I'm gonna give Pacific Rim Uprising a 4 out of 10. Like, this movie just does not work for a movie. And the number problem I have to mention, which I didn't mention over there, surprisingly, is this movie just felt safe. Like, it didn't really expand the Pacific Rim universe that much, it only just, like, just felt safe, it felt like more of the original, which is extremely disappointing, like, I wanted to like the movie, because I was such a big fan of the original, unfortunately, I just felt that, you can really tell that Guillermo del Toro was not there, because if he made his sequel, it would have been a way better movie, now obviously I'm glad he went to go on and make a shape of water, but still, like, Guillermo was such a great part of the original, and you can see that it's missing for the movie, now if they do make a third one, I'm probably gonna go see it, but to be honest, this movie put a really big sour taste in my mouth. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a like, favorite, and subscribe. Click on the notification bell for all of brand new videos. And comment below, tell me what you guys thought of the video. So you guys encourage me to make way more views in the future. Anyways guys, I'll see you in the next video.